Hey Divination, thank you for joining us in this tutorial where I will be showing you how to create a highly visual services section for your next Divi project. So you will be needing Divi first of all, and then you'll also need the zipped folder, which you can find in the blog post. You can download it for free and you can find the link to the blog post in the description below. So without any further ado, let's get to it. All right, so before we dive into the tutorial, let's take a quick look at the example that we'll be showing you how to recreate within this video tutorial. And if you'd like to follow everything uh, step by step in the blog post, you can find the link to that in the description below. So this is what we're going to recreate on desktop. And then we have the tablet version as well, which is pretty similar to the mobile version. Now within the blog post, you will be able to download these two images over here. And once you download that for free, by the way, you can also find the Photoshop files where you can modify the colors or the images that are being used. So just go to the blog post, scroll down until you come across download this tutorials files. Uh, go ahead and enter your email address and just download the files for free. All right, so once you've downloaded the different files, you can go ahead and create a new page on your WordPress website, um, give it a title and enable the TV Builder and immediately switch over to Visual Builder. All right, so we'll be recreating one section and we already have a section over here, so we're just going to make some changes to that and I'll start by opening the section settings over here, then moving on to the background subcategory, opening the gradient background tab over here and adding two color codes. Of course, you could choose whichever colors you want to use for this. Um, but if you want to find the exact color codes, you can just go to the blog post, which I have mentioned in the description below and just go ahead and get those color codes over there. All right, then we'll need to scroll down and we're going to use linear as our gradient type and we're going to change the settings over here a little. So we'll put the start and end position to 50% over here. Of course, you could do that manually or just enter the numbers. All right. And that's the only thing we'll need to change about this section. And we can continue right away by adding a new row and the column structure that we'll be needing is the last one over here. And before adding any modules to it, we're going to open the row settings, move on to the background subcategory and scroll down until we come across column to background. And then we're going to add the square image um, that you can find in the zip folder that you've downloaded from the blog post. And we're going to use it as our background image for our second column over here. Then we're going to scroll down and make sure that the image size is set to actual size. Um, we're also going to use bottom center as our image position. And this will be no repeat over here. And we'll just keep the image blend as normal. Then we'll move on to the design tab and open the sizing subcategory, enable make this row full width and use custom gutter width as well. And we'll put that to two. All right, so now we're done with the row settings and we're going to add an image module to this second column over here right away. And after you've added the image module, you can immediately choose the image from your uh, zipped folder that you've downloaded it. And of course you can modify all of the images that are being used as well. All right, so we have this over here and then we'll move on to the design tab and we'll make sure that the alignment is set to center. All right, so now we're going to create the text modules that will appear over here within the square. And for that, you will need to add a text module right below the image module that you've created. And go ahead and add some content to the content box of your text module. 
and immediately afterwards move on to the design tab open the text subcategory and start making some changes over there so first of all we're going to change the font into april fat face over here we're going to keep the font weight regular and we're going to use a strike through as well and you can find all of the details um, so you can find the color codes and all of that stuff within the blog post, which I have mentioned in the description below. So if you want to, you know, recreate it exactly the way it is, make sure you check that out. So the text size, for instance, is 36 pixels on desktop. And then we have other values for tablet and smartphone. So it's 32 pixels for tablet and 25 pixels for smartphone. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to change our text color as well to match with the color palette. But again, just this differs uh, depending on the color palette that you're using for your own website. And we'll also use the following uh, line height for our text module as well. And last but not least, we'll also apply a center text orientation. All right, then we'll move on to the sizing subcategory. And, you know, this again depends on your preferences, um, but we're going to use a width of 31% and a center module alignment. All right, now that is done, uh, we can go ahead and create a button right below this text module. And, of course, we're going to add some button text first. And then we'll immediately move on to the design tab. But of course, don't forget to add a link to your button. And we're going to use center button alignment to make it match with the other modules that we've used. And then we'll move on to the button subcategory. And we're going to enable use custom styles for button. And we're going to change our button text size to 12 pixels. And we're going to use a white text color for our button. Then we'll scroll down and use this brown kind of color as a background color for our button. And we're going to make sure that we don't have any border width for our button as well. And we're just going to keep the border radius the way it is and add a little bit of letter spacing for pixels. And we're going to use Aleph as our font family for our button. Um, keep a regular font weight and enable uppercase over here. And then we'll scroll down, open the spacing subcategory. And the first thing we'll need to do is add 200 pixels to the bottom margin. This will allow um, everything to fall into place with the column background image and we're also going to add some custom padding to our button which will make the button look better so we're going to add five pixels to the top and bottom and 20 pixels to the right and left side all right so we've already completed a big part of this tutorial and the next part is adding the two text modules that will allow you to share the services that you provide. So go ahead and add a text module to the first column of the row over here. And then immediately add some text to the content box within the content tab. And then you can move on to the design tab. Open the text subcategory. And we're going to change the text font into ALF and that's the font we've used. Uh, in the previous part of this tutorial as well and we're going to make sure that the font weight is bold enable uppercase and we're going to add 50 pixels to our text size and again to match with our color palette we're going to choose this dark brown color for our text module and we're going to add some letter spacing as well We're going to change the text line height into one as well and scroll down and make sure that the text orientation is set to left. Next, move on to the spacing subcategory and add 50 pixels to the right padding over here because this will help us 
um, add a border, which is the next part of this tutorial. So we're going to add a right border over here. And because we've set that padding, we're allowed to create something very interesting. So we're going to use a double border style over here. And you can see that there's some space between the title and the border, which is exactly what we want. So right below this text module, go ahead and add another text module. This will be um, the description of the service that you're offering. So go ahead and add that content to your content box and move on to the design tab. Open the text subcategory once again, and we're going to use a left for this text module as well. We're going to keep the font weight regular and we're going to use 15 pixels for our text size. We're going to use the same dark brown color for this text module and then we'll scroll down and add some letter spacing as well, two pixels. And we're going to put the text line height to 1.1. And again, we'll make sure that the text orientation is set to left. Then we'll move on to the spacing subcategory. And instead of adding custom padding to the right side, as we did with the previous text module, we're going to add 80 pixels to the left side. Then move on to the border subcategory. And we're doing the exact same thing, just on the opposite side. We're adding five pixels to the left border width. And we're using the same color, which you can find in the blog post. Uh, in the description below, and we're using a double border style, which gives us the following results. So now we can save a lot of time by cloning these two text modules and placing them wherever we want them to be. So we want two sets within the first and the last column of this row. So go ahead and clone these text modules as many times as needed. So you will need to clone each text module three times and place them um, in the two columns. All right. And now that we have this, we can start making some modifications. So we're actually using um, the opposite kind of border style for the right side text module. So open the title text module and move on to the spacing subcategory. And instead of adding it to the right custom padding at 50 pixels to the left side, then move on to the border subcategory over here and remove the right border width. And instead we're going to add the border width to the left side over here. So again, we're using five pixels and we're using the same color in the border style will remain double. And we're going to do the same thing to the next text module. So the body text module over here, we're going to switch the custom padding. So instead of having it on the left side, we're going to add it to the right side and Again, we're going to switch the border style. So we're going to get rid of the left border width and we're going to add it to the right side instead. Again, using the same color and using a double border style. So again, we could save ourselves some times and get rid of these text modules and just go ahead and clone these modified text modules over here, which will help us save time which is always a nice thing, of course. And there's one thing left to do, and that's creating some space between the sets of the services that you're offering. So we're going to open this title text module over here, scroll down to the spacing subcategory within the design tab and add 350 pixels to the top margin. But this will only apply to desktop because we don't really need it on tablet. So make sure that you add zero pixels to tablet and phone. And again, repeat the same step for the text module within the last column of your row. Add 350 pixels to the top margin for desktop and leave everything else the way it is. 
All right, so this is the final results. Let's take a final look at it. That was the desktop version. Here we have it on tablet and on phone. Well, that was all for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to our social media channel so you'll get a notification every time we have something new for you. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.